too. He is going to have a lot of rates out, though. He's got five yeah. more rates. Um, it, you know, I'd pump out just a few tanks, go heavy rates and some marines, and you oh, get yourself geez. a battle. Oh, jeez. Kill the overlords. You gotta kill he's the gonna, overlords. He's going to get geez. the greater fire. No, we got to kill the overlords for him. He has mutus and scourge. Yeah, he's uh, he's thinking he's going to kill the greater spire. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he had a few mutas. Never mind. If he, if he can race slap that, if he, well, I, scourge will come out in time to do it. Yeah, and he's also got mutas coming yeah. out. Race are just... Pathetic versus ground. Yeah, or in buildings as we're seeing here. Yeah. Well, he still can't see it. There he is. That Rafe was out of energy anyways. He had to back down. He didn't have a choice. <clears throat> Rafe's are so much better when you can't see him. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like you we're going to be going into the mid to late yeah. game here. And I didn't think we'd get this far in all honesty, so I've already been proven on there. Look at that supply pool line. It's cute. You see the different uh, styles. Hash going to play with the one command center for the whole game, and, and Sin, was when he plays Terran, he was always really excited to get that triple command center up. And I, I play more like Hash plays. This is how I play. I play more of this style. Yeah. I just play collectively. Just work with what you have. Go at your own go at this pace. It just works. That is a lot of raids. Yeah, that is a lot of raids. They can kill guardians in pretty much one hit. And great move, and great smart play by Hash to not move his tanks in further, thinking that all oh, just knock off these uh, spores. Spore colonies will make quick work of raids, though. Oh yeah, of course. Both players are trying to make their stand stands around here. Oh, Terran's gonna lose his battle. Guardians with spore colonies to back them up are just so good. Yep. But he uses spore colonies yeah. to tanks. So they both have their own little He's going to need line. more hatcheries here in a second, too. Yeah, good move by putting up the other, the other spire. Yeah, get those upgrades going. Yeah, and just in case he loses the other one. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to move that out. Oh, I want to move it out like that. Not this time. Just a few more zero moves. Even. Oh, and good job by Hash. Got those rates on whole position. So they won't fly into yep. those four colonies. Yeah, I didn't agree with that move there by Sin, but Sin, I mean, he's just an excellent player. Sin's doing handy. good. He needs to take a couple more gas, though. He needs to take the rest of the gas on this side here. He needs to throw down about two or three more geysers. Because he's got plenty of minerals. He needs the gas right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Terran's done to help modify his base. Is he putting down a few more barracks in his base? Yeah, he's just going for yeah. the heavy macro now. And now he's working on his tech. Going into the array. Oh, and just now getting range for his Marines. That's sure, a mistake. Not? He needed his academy a lot sooner than that. He'll be supply stuck actually pretty soon too. Towards Zerg's gonna be able to pump out. With That's why his uh, first attack didn't do as much damage as it should have. He needed that academy about eight minutes ago. Yeah. Well, they come into the range. Yeah, the range. Zerg just needs to. Be and there, able to there you see, there you see Sam throwing down more gas. He he knows he's gonna need that, and yeah, he doesn't want to lose that spire to some wraith attack. So he makes sure he gets another one up. Some wraith attack. <laughs> We're not, we're not used to talking about that. Yeah. And remember, we we get comments all the time on the video. We have to mention this is StarCraft, not Brood War. That's why, you know, there's no Lurkers, there's no, you know, Valkyries or whatever yeah. else you would see. So you're like, oh, medics. These fastest pups don't even use medics. There's, it's like, we, there's, you know, it it well, doesn't fail every time someone is yeah. like, why didn't he just build medics? He would have won so easily. <laughs> yeah. Oh, children. Children, children. <laughs> Oh, well, young at heart. <laughs> Ray's taking out that overlord. The Wraith's just gonna stand there and take it. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy Wraith count. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be tough for Sin to break out, especially when he's 50 supply behind. Yeah, and with those tanks and the Marines. And, and Hash getting a nice, nice macro. Just keep building up. Just keep building more and more base. Just make sure you can always reproduce your army. H has he set up for upgrades yet? Um, it looks like he had... Yeah, engineering, one engineering bay, and he's finally got the upgrades on his marines, the range and the stem. Mm -hmm, I think he's going to start getting that. And getting a lot more starports now. He might be producing to just pump out a bunch of vessels yeah, at once. Yeah, I think that's a lot of vessels, which is a great play. Just keep it ready in the Guardians. Make sure... Late game, you definitely want uh, vessels versus Guardians. Yeah. That's for sure. And defilers and all the above. Yeah, too. you definitely want vessels late game, and get that... And get that energy upgrade, the Titan Reactor or whatever, because your vessels pop out with more energy. It's not only does it increase their maximum, it increases what they uh, come out with when they're produced. You usually have to wait just a few seconds. I think it'll come out with 70. Yeah, I mean, or they, usually they come out with 50 and they need yeah. 75 to irradiate, but if you have the energy upgrade, they come out with, I don't know, 60 or 70, something like that. 
You just helped gold. Yeah. yeah. Everything helps. Oh, and this is a lot of mutas. And mutas. And a whole bunch of mutas in a group like that actually do a lot more damage to race than you think. You think yeah. race is a superior unit. They do a lot more damage than you think. The Marines alone have done a lot. Oh, Terran's pushing in pretty aggressive here. I like him. Might as well. He probably has enough units to replen replenish his whole army quickly. Yeah, Marines with range and stim just melt mutas. Mm -hmm. Emily. Wow. Hash playing with great aggressive stand still here. Just don't get greedy. Sin just never had him. enough sunken colonies in the front here. No, or ha he needs more hatcheries too. Look, look at his minerals. I mean, even Zerglis. He just never had a place to build. There was always tanks right exactly. here. Exactly. I just played it real smart. The last time, I think he learned this. Last time he went for that earlier kill with the Irradiates. He's like, oh, I'm just going to take advantage of this position. And I think it really didn't pay out for him. This time he said, okay, listen, I have a chance to take this down 3 2, and I'm going to. These mutas, though, just do not want to disappear. <laughs> oh, going in for the irradiate. Oh, that's going to be huge. Click on the vessel, see how many kills. 25, 25 kills. 25 kills with that one irradiate there. He has that much money, you think, oh, it's not that big deal, but it is over. The, even the odds are saying it's over. Because Zerg's not even going to be able to have enough time to pump units. He's going to have to build drones. While his Terran's going to produce attacking army forces. Oh, yeah, Sin's economy all the way down to 74 supply, just, uh, and no hatcheries, I mean, no, one, exactly. he's two, gonna, he's, oh, that's, that's game. Yeah. I mean, you have two hatcheries in your main, or no, he has these, uh, two back here, so. Even then, so he should be a, he should have 12. Yeah, he's Easy. got five hatcheries total versus all uh -huh. this Terran macro. There's just, he has no shot, there's nothing he can do at this point. It means take two seconds to build. So, Not I really, mean, it, it looks totally. like, uh, Hash gonna take this down 3-2. Just a matter of time before he attacks again and, and Sin crumbles finally, but but yeah, it was good games. So. Yeah, it's a fun to do the series. We haven't done it for a while. We've actually experienced some crazy weather here in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I was out of blizzards. town with family for like 15 days, so I haven't been around for a while to do commentary. So this is our first video in probably like three weeks. Yeah. Trapped, we couldn't do anything. I mean, even heard on some of the news how crazy it's been. It's... It, it's been all that. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts. Just snow. We, we get snow, but just snowfall after snowfall. We don't even have any places to shovel the snow anymore. <laughs> yeah, you gotta start putting the snow in your house. Eventually. Yeah, just uh, start moving it in your garage <laughs> so you can get out through the, the driveway. That's what it's gonna be if we get a couple more storms here pretty soon. Yeah, Sin, I mean, trying, but he just, mm -hmm. he just doesn't have enough hatcheries. He just can't macro and keep up. When you have mass meters, it looks so beautiful. It's just a beautiful army to have. Now they're just feeding him one by one. It's waste. Not much you can do with that. Yep, and there's GG from Sin. Good so 3-2. Hash gonna take the win. Thanks for watching, GG.